Hello there everyone, welcome to Cory Loses for a brand new preview playthrough in Thrawn's Revenge 3.4, where we're going to be starting a new playthrough as the Hut Cartel. So this is going to be our first look at the faction uh, doing a whole playthrough in the Known Galaxy small map. Uh, so after this playthrough is done, I do want to do a Fall of the Republic one as well, because there are some differences in the faction between the mods. But uh, we've been waiting for this one for a while. So I'm excited to get into it. We are going to be on Known Galaxy Small, Era 1, because the the, the Twitch chat voted on it, and I, I, they're, they just weren't very creative with it. That's fine. I don't think we've actually shown some of the map changes with Era 1 in this yet, so it's, it's okay. We did the Empire playthrough, I think, was Era 3, and uh, and I think that was after the map changes. So that that's the one that we've already seen, so we're, we're still good. But let's get into it. Uh, so this playthrough is being recorded live on Twitch every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern. The plan is to record these episodes, so I'll be able to uh, answer questions or talk about other things. But uh, but yeah, so we are in here in Hut Space, and the episodes will be will be streamed on Twitch and put up on YouTube. So don't worry, it's all going to end up on YouTube as well. But uh, we have a couple planets down here. So let's see, how many planets is a couple? The huts are, we have seven planets, 30% of the galactic military. We have a lot of, a lot of stuff is coming from our heroes right now. But uh, yeah, so our first thing that we're gonna wanna do is build a couple smugglers because we don't get to build trade ports or not trade ports. We don't get to build tax agencies the way that other factions get to. So we get our base planet income and we can take everyone else's planet income. Uh, so you can have up to five smugglers plopped on an enemy planet uh, and we'll be doing that throughout here. So let's uh, let's start up by queuing up some smugglers on Narshada, Constructing unit. which we'll send to a few places. And we will turn on Cruel. I guess I should do that now. It's gonna, yeah, fine, fine, we'll do it. Ooh, I turn on. Okay. Uh, so right now the we're doing the the kind of like basic implementation. So the the enemy isn't going to lose money for smuggling at this point because they don't have a way to remove it. We don't want to do like the bounty hunter thing. Uh, the 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 base game version of that we don't really love. We'd rather have it be a bit more interactive. Uh, and because we don't want to have the other factions doing that right now, we don't want to have the player as other factions uh, losing those credits. Right now, it doesn't take away from it, but there's more plans for it. Uh, and I'm going to turn on this one, because we we didn't see them in the other the other playthrough. So there's two of my credits just gone. But let's start off by building two Karagas, or one Karaga. We don't have the money. Or we don't have the, the crews for twos. We'll do a Karaga, and we'll do a Cos or two Cossacks. Uh, and one of the things that I do in these playthroughs for people who are Twitch subs, patrons, or channel members over on YouTube is they're able to name units for use in the playthrough. So you'll see a bunch of named units. Those are just in this playthrough as a way for me to thank the people who support the channel that way. So there'll be a link in the description if you would like to get that in yourself. But starting off with uh, with a smuggler, we're going straight to Coruscant because the amount of money you get off of it is based off of uh, the value of the enemy planet. So we're gonna. I don't think Coruscant's going to be falling anytime soon, so we're going to drop a few there. Uh, if the if you take a planet, you can't smuggle from it anymore. If someone else takes a planet, it will drop the level of your smuggling network. So just be got to be mindful of that. So high value enemy planets are great. High value enemy planets that might get taken less great. Uh, but can the Huts hire more headhunters as the other factions? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean like bounty hunters as major heroes? Because that'll be a thing they can do. Uh, we have the bounty hunter heroes here already. But you can't, like, it. we don't use the, like, just drop a thing in a context slot and then it automatically kills an enemy hero. So that function is still not there. Uh, but let's see. We have a few of those fleets building up. I think we want Bimisari as our first target. So, because we want to unite our Klaatuinian forces. And let's get these guys over here. How big are these fleets? So, what's your flagship? You have a heavy minstrel. 
I have no idea what any of the heroes do at a glance yet, so I just want to get you, and I'll put them in together. So most of them have relatively small ships, but not all of them. Frigate standing by. Yeah, so more income, or more smugglers does mean more income. So you just place the smugglers, I did a, a video on this that was standalone, you place the smugglers on the planet, and then on weak change it'll, uh, it'll absorb them in, and then you'll start getting some some credits from that but let's see we have 54 that's not quite enough uh do we take our gamorian fleet i think we do Enemy fleet approaching. they're coming to kamra which i think is our our little enclave way over here and oh, we have a carabos there so one of the things that the huts can do Research. is we can send this Karabos into Butana Hutta. Research complete. So that is now going to be available on defense. It wasn't going to save this this defense for us, so it, it's just it's just going away. But now we'll be able to call in that Karabos on defense. So it cost us 600 credits, but it'll at least uh, it'll contribute. And... I think I can... I might just pop this whole f set of heroes onto there. Because I want to be able to see what's going on. Uh, oh, and they're coming for Desucha as well. Are they coming... Oh, they're, they're probably coming from that planet. So turning on Cruel right away might have been maybe a mistake. But we'll do what we can. All right. Let's see if we get there. Um... Yeah, that was the Greater Maldrude fleet. So it'll probably be pretty empty on the uh on the actual planet. I probably could have held that with the Batana Tata forces, but because it's defense, I don't know if our garrisons are actually set up right Enemy now. Forces ahead. So Hammond is asking, are the huts in the latest version of Thrawn's Revenge of that still in beta? This is a preview of the upcoming world, so they're not there yet. We got Premier Tim Trudenko Curry. We have Duba the Hut. We are not going to have this one anymore in a second. So we'll need to we'll need to get this relatively fast. Uh, Ocean Cossack. It's a regular Cossack. Okay, we have a few other regular ones. On route. That's an unfortunate. Oh, never mind. They they messed up. They didn't wait. They went too hard, too fast, too strong. Losers. Okay, you don't go too far in there. And let's put these other ones in front. Okay, so we do need to stop that before they get another shot at one of our units. Uh, we're good there. Reporting. Enemies incoming. So our our Vontors here are going to be kind of our our backbone capital ships for a little while. We're going to have like Voraciouses and some other battle cruiser size ones, but that's only once we have a bit more money coming in. So get back here. Oh, that's a uh, that golem is actually in a real problem. And let's move you back there too. Because you're taking a real chonkin. Weapons off. Enemy target sighted. All right. What are you going to hit? Oh, you're actually still just going for the Cossack? I didn't think... <laughs> That's like the perfect amount of health that it still has left. Okay. One thing we're going to be a little bit... Uh, a little bit struggling with is our fighter setup right now. Because that's one of the the more whip part of it. So some of the stuff with uh, the government 
mechanic distribution, fighters. Uh, that's going to be something that we have in a more whip state right now, but you'll see in a more complete state in the Father of Public playthrough. What if, like... If you live on this, this is... This is our hero for the day. Like, let's all just take a moment to appreciate what a champion is. I need to make sure that I keep it moving. But we're, as you can probably tell, our, our fleets are going to be really benefiting from some... Uh, from some missile usage. Okay, I think we're good though. I think we're... I'm just going to keep an eye on you. You're probably not going to get targeted. Because you weren't already. Form up. Bring it moving out. Let's get you turned around there. Awaiting order. This is like Turn, 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 turn. Oh, you're going somewhere else now. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You got Raboga. Rightful Dominion can take that. We got this, we got this. We are victorious. Uh but someone did ask about some of the remilitarization remilitarization stuff. Uh, asking, oh, we lost a Kaloth. Asking, once you add in later errors like the NJO and Legacy error starts, would the huts already start militarized, or have you not that that far ahead? Yeah, so the government mechanics, one of the government mechanics, one of the main ones for the huts, uh, is you have two kind of paths you can go down. And I did another video about this recently, so I won't go super deep into it. We'll see it as we go through. But you have like the, the crime, the scum and villainy branch, and you have the remilitarization branch as the huts kind of get their military going again. Uh... And I think I messed up because that is supposed to increase with the mobilization. But the uh, the way it works is over time you'll unlock more of their designs, some heroes and some other stuff by increasing those scores. Once we do get to the later eras after they had canonically already done all that, then that will start fulfilled and it'll be other stuff that they're worrying about. But... Uh, let's see. So we want to get some forces together to do this invasion. Kind of sucks that I won't be able to use those ones. Pirate skip mobile. Receiving orders. We need to have everything together here. Tactical battle imminent. Hello, Kamra. I mean, we can try to to hold this. I don't think it'll go very well. Vinny's asking, how do I feel about missiles because they're so slow and can't hit hard points before they get destroyed? I mean, they're really good if you do any amount of micro. Like, if you have everyone shooting the same hard point, then the missiles will get there last and they won't be able to get as much done. If you are telling different ships to target different things, then your missiles will hit and will do a lot of damage. And they're fantastic for, like, alphaing down shields, too. So there's a lot they're going to be able to contribute. It just requires a bit more thought than, like, control a right click. It's very... Ready to move. Uh, it's a strategy people love in Empire of War. Awaiting destination. Their accuracy is really good if you need to take down small stuff. If you're trying to shoot past point defense, they'll get shot down. If you're trying to shoot the thing with point defense, then they're also very good there. Scout trooper active. At the so we have our guardians. Let's see if we can get over to these guards, these guys. Ready to receive orders, as you wish. No, oh, I, I pressed the wrong one. The ability set up? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, it's just the speeder. Never mind. We've located the enemy. I'm gonna try to hold this with the turrets. Like, it's not really a great thing for us to expect to be able to hold long term. But if we can, if we can just get a few extra credits out of this for now. We're not gonna be able to have those. Area. Here, can you just get down to, to help them? 
But if we can get these... Oh, that's not great. Take that down before it starts contributing. The AT AT get them. Let's try to here. On the way. Awaiting order. Coming out. Heading out. I copy. Firing. We're definitely not moving the planet. You're not going to be able to do as much down. Okay, let's uh get across the map there. Here we can. You don't. You want to. You want to walk over. Well, he did. So what am I going to do about it? No. Okay, Panda Star alignment. You win. So you, you, you get karma. We don't. We don't get to keep karma. Position, so as you wish. Get down there. Uh, we'll also need to be gun. And yeah, because we're probably not expanding from that. Now, Hada, I'm gonna drop one of the barracks and get an HP gun. I might actually drop this as well. Because we're kind of hoping to defend in space here. So I'll get something else. Yeah, I think we're going to sell the base defenses, because if they take the space over now, Hada, we're already in trouble. Get two of those, and... We will get a new Brickian frigate. Or three. Three Ubiquitian frigates. We haven't decided what their ground of space cannon is actually going to be. So. Unfortunately, that's one of the more limited parts of Empire at War, anyways. Uh, any other stuff I need to do? Because we can't take those out. That's actually one of our better setups on Gamor. Let's just get them over there. But I want to make sure we can get this without waiting for the next week. Alright, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Invasion commencing. Like, we'll have to build a bit before I really think about which fleets are going to get put where or split into what. Uh, smuggling income is based on the planet's base income. Yeah, let's get some nuts in there. Right away, sir. And we'll get a military field base, which I'll capture the other one with that. There are a couple heavy vehicles the huts are going to get that aren't ready right now. Uh, like Katana, the sail barge, and the other big Ubrickian thing we're giving him. Uh, so we're going to be living without those right now. But I'm, I'm hoping the Katana can be done, like the Jabba sail barge style, can be done before the release of point four. But we'll see. Pirate skip mobile. There they are. Blast them. Okay, actually, you guys, you guys keep going. These, these should be fine on their own. Okay, we need to be able to hold this, send you over, and send you back to here. I'm just not sure if we're gonna get flanked when I send people elsewhere. Yep, these will stand up flying. Uh oh, 
claustrophobic sources for people. Definitely Very a deep cut for report. anyone who recognizes it. Orders. Thank you, Vinny, for subscribing. I appreciate it. Squadron moving out. All right, let's uh, keep orders. going in. Oh, that's an AA turret. I don't proceeding. like that. You don't want to be AA turreted. It did help if you moved, but Weapons you know. Loaded. Spearheading assault. At the ready. Nice little gunships for us. Okay, now they're still coming from field bases back there, I think. I might actually have to retreat and come back when we have more units, because it's a, a lot of stuff that we just can't kill reliably right now. Because we're only running around with anti-infantry units. Yeah. I think we're... Need some of our heavier vehicles before I can actually do that. Uh, what did I queue up here? I'm gonna cancel those. And where do we have a heavy vehicle factory? Do we actually have one anywhere? We don't. We do. I want the AA skiffs. We want the super hull. In production. And or no, you're a light vehicle factory still. Yeah. So where's the? Do we want Clatween? We actually didn't start with one. It looks like. We'll have to build one. Just need to make sure we don't get attacked beforehand. What do you have? 38. Okay. I'm gonna back off. Because they're gonna they're gonna die a little bit. If they stick around. Because it's a hyper velocity gun situation. And we're getting a lot of money out of smuggling now. So well, not a lot, but we're we're starting to get some money out of smuggling. So, the Squirrel 2, I think, like, if we're gonna stick with the light ones right now, that's the best situation. And maybe we'll get a heavy factory on Nauhada. So we'll just keep light vehicle production here. The Sucha... I'm gonna get a bunch of barracks. Like, the, the factories are also going to be keeping our our upkeep lower. It's nice writing Huts 1 for a save name. But it'd also be nice to get a Voracious or something. Something that I know already has bombers set up on it. We have some more ground stuff here that we can use as well. Coordinates received. Do you bring back the corruption mechanic for the huts? No. There's nothing that corruption offers that we really want to use for the huts, and we already use corruption for the CIS alliances and Fall of the Republic. That's how the CIS factions are able to go through each other's territory. Uh, and you can't have two different types of factions that benefit from corruption. Like, if a faction uses corruption, corruption is all one thing. It's a binary state for the planets. So if a planet is corrupted, then it's corrupted for everyone who uses corruption. And that's what we work off of with CIS. So we're not able to say like, oh, this is hut corruption and this is CIS corruption. They do, do two different things and can't overlap with each other. It's just, it is what it is with the EAWs. Uh, do we have anything? Not sure if we have carriers at that level. I think those are all fighters. So we have the Voracious for sure. Which I think has a couple bombers set up on it, but I'm just not sure if they're set up in the XML code. So it'll be a bit weird waiting for our... Uh, like the... The bombing runs and the bombardments or something we can add in while playing. So that'll be worked on over the course of the playthrough. But let's see. Reporting. You out to there. I mean, that's a tempting amount of ground units, too. 
I think what we're going to do is go through here. To free up the Sucha, and we'll clear it off with the other ones. Yeah, we want a Hyper Velocity Gun, too. Oh, you're about to come to... Okay, good for you. I'm definitely going to regret the cruel stuff early. So the Agroku Hara, which is the name of this one, Halta, uh, I think we're also switching that out with the with the custom design named that that we've uh, recently completed the model for. Sky recently completed the model for. I think uh, T78 on that one as well, for the texture. Yeah, the Batil is one of our criminal units, or one of our remobilization units. I just need to make sure that the deployment to Butana Hutta is actually bringing up the score too. The enemy has been spotted. Otherwise, if it's not, then I'll need to unlock them a different way. But considering those three units are the only things that get locked by that, it'll be easy enough if I have to. But again, a lot of work in progress stuff that you'll see uh, is slightly more fleshed out in Fall of the Republic once we get to that playthrough. Because, uh, oh, hello, bye. Because the uh, like the huts are really the thing standing in the way of beta. It's like the thing that needs to be completed to start beta for both. Enemy so if they were entirely done, then you'd be playing it already. Reporting. So that's all there is to it. Okay, I'm gonna probably also want some infantry. Okay, well let's let that roll through. Okay, that'll be ready. Oh, hello. No! I wanted those for the ground. Oh well. Checking sector. Tactical battle imminent. Now we get to destroy that juggernaut. Enemy unit sighted. And we have our Ubrikian frigates, which the huts totally didn't rip off of anyone else. Definitely not a lancer. As the the name for this one is like any any similarities are purely coincidental, not copyright infringement. This way. Choose your reinforcements. Let's move out. Inputting coordinates. Let's go. Uh, they aren't gonna have HV guns, or they had an HV gun. I don't know if they decided not to use it. Look, I'm gonna. We get that way? Sure. Are we going to be able to upgrade what ships heroes fly in? I mean, there are some heroes in the mod that have multiple flagships you can upgrade between, and some of the huts will fall into that. But it's not going to be... Like, Empire at War isn't a game where you can set it up so like you can put whatever hero on whatever ship. That's not a thing we're doing. Because uh, every one of those has to be coded as a unique instance of the hero. So if you want five different possible ship types a hero can be in, you have to code in five different instances of the hero. Like, it's its its own object. It's not a thing being attached to something else. But, uh, is that going to be enough? I don't think that's going to be quite enough. Let's start with some more infantry. I don't want that to, to kill them. Well, I want my stuff to kill the enemies, but I don't want... I, uh, oh, here we go, Urikia. Uh, and we already had a few of the other ones. Okay, that's good. So let's back off once again, and then the next time we get to go in. Uh, Amy is asking, are a lot of the Hut, Naval, and Land base units paid up, or are they from novels and books, and if so, which ones? Uh, basically, everything we've used for the Huts are canon. Like, some of the ship designs we've had to make up to apply to an existing name, or some of the existing, or some of the ship names we've made up to apply to an existing design, but it's a faction where the actual making up of 
like stuff out of whole cloth is very minor. Uh, so some of the ship designs we've shown before are things that Sky in particular has come up with. Uh, but a lot of them are either from the Essential Guide to Warfare designs or the the High Republic. I think they're from a comic that had some other of the hut designs based on the similar design language that we've applied names to. Uh, then there's stuff like Agrelku Halta, which uh, is described as like a dreadnought. So we went in with the interpretation of it's a huttified dreadnought. Uh, you have like the Abrikian frigate, which is a cannon thing. And we've taken the information from that to apply the design to. Uh, ground is basically just a bunch of like skiffs with the basis as well, uh, or other tanks with the basis. So it's not a faction that required like making up something where nothing existed. It's just filling in gaps where you got a name or a design, and each needed the other side of it, that kind of thing. And it has it's a faction with a lot of really clear design language. So it's it makes it nice for consistency as well. Okay, so we have our hypervelocity gun done there. That's good. And I would like to... I'm going to cancel this because we already have uh, some of those going. There's the pirate base right there if we wanted to build one. But let's get... So it is in there. And let's get the smugglers. Yeah, there's the WLO tank from the Clone Wars, which is one of the ones that we're building right now. But, yeah, Ubrikia, I'm not worried about defending itself. I'm going to cancel this because we should be able to get another smuggler or two out of it. And, yeah, we'll just get two of that because we're... Gonna drop that on like Lantilles or something. Lantilles is gonna go back and forth. I think Hapes might be another good target for us, but we can still get another, uh, another couple on Coruscant. We'll do that. Starfighters. There are a lot of cannon hut starfighters. There wasn't much we had to pick up there either. Moving into that area, sir. Moving out. Okay, let's... Well, first let's get you out of here, finally. And I'm gonna send you to Coruscant. You are taking a while to get there, but I think it's still worth... And... Oh. <laughs> My timing was off. Look, sir, it's them! Yeah, the, the display for the smuggling income is inconsistent right now. But it is working. Yeah, chunk yourself on that. I mean, as it is, we're just kind of taking some greater Maljude income from that. just making them pay the station tax. Oh, okay. Retreat aborted. Yeah, you better abort your retreat. It's making them a little angry. We are victorious. Uh, deliver the Pam is asking. I know this is beta phase, but when the huts are in the game, who's next? So the Empire of the Hand and through them, the Chiss are getting a lot of the focus in the next release. So it's probably going to be the Chiss that come next because the Empire of the Hand are finally getting their, their ground stuff redone. And that means a lot of Chiss stuff is being done. They have a lot of space stuff done already. So it's not necessarily solid who is going to end up being ready next. Because I don't like, it's not necessarily the case that like every release has to have a uh, a new playable faction. Like, it's not like point four is the Huts, so point five has to be Corellia, point six has to be Duskin League, point seven has to be the shit. Like, some fact, some releases will focus on having a new faction, some won't. 
We're not going to get garrisons right now, I don't think. So that does make defenses a little bit more difficult on the ground for us. Makes attacks much easier on the ground in the Fall of the Republic playthrough, we didn't know. Thank you, Revenant. Very appreciated. Oh, I didn't, didn't even... And thank you, Sky. Very appreciated as well. Both coming through the gifted subs. Very epic. Yeah, without our extra garrison, it's going to be very difficult to actually hold off on the defenses here. What's with the landing zone icon? So rather than the one faction logo, it's a bunch of the Khajiitic logos. So it's a, it's a team effort. Okay, yeah, we're losing that one. Only I had all my units. System we'll lost. be able to take that back once we're into Emissary. Acknowledged. Order acknowledged. So let's send you Spivrin. That might be a mistake, but. I need to find places that are going to be safe. And Hapes as well. They'll be fine. Alright, with these guys, we're going to be good to take Emissary and then come back. I'm going to send one of you in to defend. Add it to Batana Hara. Does it not have the cross plot plugged in to bump up the score, though? Okay, no, mobilization is working for it. Tyranid Swarm is asking, did Ariadu get a new color? Everyone got a new color. So the white is the independent forces now. And Ariadu is a little bluish-greenish color. Mint. You want to call it that? Well, we know where Grand Admiral Sin is. Okay, well let's uh let's get our invasion on. Invasion commencing. What kind of microphone and earplugs do I use for streaming? So my microphone is the Rode NT USB. Uh, it's a few years old now, so it's not like whatever the new model is, the plus or whatever. But my headphones are literally just the five dollar Sony earbuds. Cause I hate like the full pop them in earbuds. They make me feel trapped. And that just means that they're better. But these, I like. I literally buy the cheapest, worst earbuds, and if they die, I replace them. So it's, I, I'm not who you want to go to for audio equipment advice. All right, let's get. I don't know if I want to deploy. Auto I don't want to deploy anyone yet. Okay, let's get some artillery. Let's get the cloud walkers, which are based off of the the base game pirate version of the very small. Uh, ATAP design. Cheeky little interpretation of that that Philo Raptor is cooked up. People want to see some hero deaths, they just have to wait for the next episode of the Fall of the Republic playthrough. Little hut walkers. I have been thinking of upgrading my my microphone at some point in the near future when I redo my office, but like, it's not bad how it is. So, well, here let's uh, let's just take out these turrets. This will probably give a better idea of what the the rock is like, even without our even without our uh, our big boys. Now it's not just like anti infantry units that are trying to kill everything. Okay, we need to get. I copy. Moving into that area, sir. We secured a landing zone. Choose your reinforcements. Heading out. 
Okay, I really want to make sure we can hold this. If you're faster, then go faster. And I think the MALs we can deploy here. I think that's the, the safe thing to do. Okay, now you guys get over there. There it is. Alright. Hype train done. Thank you again, Sky and Revenant. Very appreciated. Guy and T is just sitting there for our, for our AA skiffs. We should have a much better time holding Anyone on to that now. Understood, it's your payroll. And we're at a full ten. Okay, let's try to get over here. And we did kill a lot of their units last time. So without the field bases, I think they're going to be struggling just in general. I don't want you two to, or you three to go and die. But. And let's get up the bridge. Too. Oh shoot! Heading out. Unit destroyed. Destination Oops. ahead. Awaiting orders. You, you guys let's too. Unit destroyed. Unit destroyed. Copy. The the AA turret. Reporting Always good. Targeting. Awaiting orders. Scanning target. Okay. Moving to fire. Copy. Targeting. Take a seat there. Like I, I don't want to keep these guys alone over there. But they can't fly out past this. Okay. Keep on that. And... We should be able to use bombardments once we take out the uh, thing here. Yes, sir. This way. Over there. We're standing by. Fallout. We don't have any carriers in space. Engines activated. At the moment. Okay, get on through. You guys can get a little closer and actually do damage. That'd be nice for you. You need to not have damage done to you. We're ready to roll. Move, move. Your orders. May as well go a little faster. We're ready. You don't go, need to wait. Go. And I've just left my little pods behind. At least they'll be fast. Oh crap. No safe haven for you guys, is there? We will actually be able to, to not shoot the ground. Okay. I've just really gone past turrets. Yeah, at least we'll be able to get those down quickly. Here, now get over there. I've split things up too much. Uh, I am putting in auto. I'm booking passage to ATAA base here. Yeah. Okay. Hit. Now let, let's just right keep it together. Enemy in Literally. Back. Supporting allied units. Reinforcements canceled. We're ready. We're on it. On the way. Uh, let's, uh, let's move back. We'll come back in when we have more of our stuff ready to, to join. If you're all here, I'd like for you to actually hit this too. Copy. Open fire. 
Make sure there's no anti-vehicle turrets around. Oh, buddy, if you get a little bit closer, you can actually shoot that. Pro tip. So let's get these guys over to this side. Ooh, they're really keeping around here now. Here. Okay, if you're an AA skip, you can hit that one. If you're the other guys, you can hit those. There, look at that. Okay. Now we have our bombardment. This way. Over there. Move you away. As you wish. At the ready. And Squadron you guys can get over there. Get out of there. Got it. Heading out. I'll copy. Rolling out. Ready to receive orders. That's it proceeding. Targeting. Blast them out. Okay. We're standing by. Now, can you all stop? Moving to position. Let's get. Moving. We'll back up where we can. On my way. Scanning target. Okay, now we get over here. And you guys can come back to the group. Right away. We're ready. Yes, sir. Let's go. I read you, sir. Over. Yes, sir. Now to kill them. After that, I want to probably even get some repairs. Moving out. Okay, if everyone wants to shoot them, can you shoot that too? I don't think the MAL has been doing much right now. Okay, now we should be good. Just need to do some repairs before I get everyone else killed. And repair. We're ready. Everyone's just Standing at by. next to zero health. Ready. I copy. It's like shake and ready to go. Ready. Weapons loaded. Right. Fall out. Active. All right. That should be good enough to, to assault what's left. Destination ahead. It's Let's just what? Out. A tax agency and a light vehicle factory? Inside. I think we actually killed all the units. We're good. Watching for enemy fire. Keep going. This way. Attack. Got it. System control achieved. Spread out too much. We're fine now. All right. So I think we're going to leave it there for our first episode. We're going to keep going for one more episode here on Twitch. But for those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're looking forward to the rest of the playthrough and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.